everybody. Welcome to Movie Combat. Yeah! <laughs> uh, our uh, movie podcast where we uh, like to discuss movies, um, past, present, and future. And obviously this season we have been watching the Predator Alien Timeline. And I am Josh, and with me is... Ryan. And uh, we're here to discuss our latest movie that we watched. Um, this time we are doing Alien vs. Predator requiem yes this is the <laughs> fourth movie now so if you guys haven't seen them yeah up to this point there will be remember this whole show is spoilers so make sure you are following along and uh, tune in at the end of this episode because we will be telling you guys what movie we'll be watching next yes so anyway what is where are we starting here oh. in this sequel to avp <laughs> yeah um well it immediately picks up right after the the previous movie yes so it's it's like basically a minute afterward <laughs> you did know? you notice though in that intro that they used alien and predator font slash graphics yeah and sound effects too yeah which was kind of cool i thought that was a cool kickoff yeah I, um <laughs> i noticed i had noticed throughout the movie that they used a lot of classic sound effects and and like as far as like the the graphics and stuff, there were a lot of old school. Like with the Predator's mask, they were doing a lot of the old sounds. And, and granted, it was modern technology, but it was like the old style where it was doing the lines and stuff. And he's tracking the yeah. alien. So, yeah, I noticed they were kind of paying homage to the old old movies. But, it uh, yeah, it, it starts off when we see the Predator with the Predalien. Yeah. I refer to it as the Predalien because it was really it was really hard to start writing Predator slash alien creature. Yeah. So I just started, I just mashed it together. So from now on, we are referring to it as the Predalien. Yeah. Uh, bursting out of the dead Predator, which we saw die in the first AVP, in the last film. So... Um, yeah, and, and did you notice on this Predator ship, like, it looks like they were a specific alien hunting ship. Well, I guess it would make sense because that, that it was probably the ship that was taking – I looked up some lore about the Predators. So, okay, okay. So those Predators that were there to go to the temple, they're known as uh, unblooded. And so until they kill an alien or a xenomorph, they are not technically part of the clan. So Interesting. One, yeah, and so once they kill a xenomorph – then they become blooded, and there's certain stages in the trials. So when they first get there, they've got to kill one with their blades or their weapons, and mm. then that's when they earn their guns. So that's why when they, the humans got the gun in the previous one, they were like, oh, shit, someone beat us to it. Yeah, like, yeah. we were supposed to get those, you know, and because they had already, I think, had killed some of the humans or whatever, but they hadn't run into the aliens at that point, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, so it's just like it's part of their part of their culture as far as, like, their – trials or something so i think that ship uh it had a lot of alien um carcasses on it and there were a bunch of face huggers and jars yeah, and it did have a place jar. yeah and so it looked like that ship was specifically like the ship that okay you're here's the ship you're gonna learn about these things real quick we're gonna send you to this planet and you're gonna take your trial and then you're gonna get back on the ship or whatever so one thing i noticed about the predalien mm -hmm. it doesn't get off give off heat like the predators do he had to switch his Oh right, uh, filter. <laughs> yeah. So you can see the Predalien. I noticed that when he was uh, when that Predalien was killing the Predator. Yeah, he had to go like, to the the like alien vision yeah. one or whatever because he was like, it's it yeah because it still has like acid blood and shit and it's like it's got all the the like it's alien pretty much got features except yeah. for the face. The yeah, like both of the. The best qualities of both creatures are yeah. put into one. It's it's huge, and I'm assuming it's a girl because it's a queen. I think because well, they're all girls. It's all the xenomorphs are girls. I think because um, they they're all they're like ants, aren't they? Yeah, I well, I know there 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 are like a handful of male drones, but I'm not sure about like the main just like lackey drone mm -hmm. xenomorphs. But I know there's there are some males because there is a king xenomorph that is rare and i think it basically it's there to help fertilize the queen or whatever yeah like but a bee you, yeah exactly like a but bee you don't or an ever, ant. yeah you don't ever see it on screen though i don't think um, yeah I don't, not, but i don't think we have yet no. yeah just based on like toys and stuff from from past experience when i was a child i remember they had one um and it, it was like it had kind of like a big crest kind of like the queen does but it wasn't as big it kind of like how spiders do you know mm, the, the girl okay, spiders always okay. huge so I mean, it makes sense. Any, yeah, any the xenomorph kind of... definitely takes a lot of insect yeah. traits to itself. Yeah. Um, 
they do land or they crash more towards yeah. the bo- but we get to see young Sean Spencer for those that are psych That's fans. Who, yeah, I was yeah, to, I was, I was like to man alive. Was. Yeah, it was it was so weird cuz I'm like what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know that kid from somewhere. He looks really familiar. Yeah. And I was just, I could not place it. So if you guys have ever seen the USA show Psych, uh, which is one of my favorite shows of all time, it um, that is young Sean Spencer. That is, the the kid is Sean Spencer as a kid, is what it is. Yeah, yeah. like, and, and it, so it's like, at first they don't, I don't know, I forget if they even announced where it landed, but at first you don't realize even where the ship is yeah. at. It I just mean, we eventually lands. find out it's Colorado. Yeah, but. yeah, like the sheriff mentions it, I think, yeah. over, Ted over the intercom. Ted Bundy's old stomping grounds. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot of the Netflix but, thing of the Ted Bundy yeah, thing. Somebody yeah, somebody at work was telling me yeah, about that, it's too. Yeah, it's, it's not I need, bad. I need to check that out. I mean, out. he's crazy, but it's, the, <laughs> the documentary's good. So, anyway. Um, but, yeah, it just lands in a random forest. And before the one of the predators, he's, like, trapped under some debris. And the pred alien basically was running around the ship killing everything. Yeah. Um, Anything that and, moved that was a predator, he was just yeah. mashing everybody. And so he's trying to set off his little bomb thing, but beep, then the, the pred alien beep, kills him before he gets a chance to finish it off. So the ship doesn't blow up, like, planned. Yeah, um, and then true. and then the coolest part is it sends a distress signal back to Yautra Prime. Or yeah, whatever. we finally Dude. get to see Predator Home Planet. Yeah, it's so, but cool. only from like one angle. We yeah. don't get to see what it looks like. We yeah. just get to see what it looks like. It, <laughs> yeah, here's here's a little tease. It looks pretty. It looks pretty hostile. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely looks like it. It reminds me of like the Mayans. Uh, yeah. Temple thing that they made in the first film in the first AVP. Yeah, the a last lot of, lot of pyramids. Movie. Yeah, so it's definitely got that vibe of like why I think it's supposed to explain like why we built pyramids mm-hmm. here, and so that was it was he, aliens it was man. predator it was the predators um but yeah so yeah, and i a whole bunch of face huggers escape from um, plane, well we shit too. when we yeah and so like oh right right yeah why the distress signals going off yeah cuz oh, yeah, the, yeah, right. the dude sees the face huggers i think that's why it goes off is cuz essentially they all escape mm-hmm. and then it introduces who i just called badass throughout the entire movie okay. because cuz he's just the badass predator like he's just this lone hunter and he and he yeah, he goes by himself call. yeah which is dude. like why would you not send like a few of them with you he yeah. just nope i'm going to deal with this problem yeah, he's i'm going to so go awesome. wonder- uh, but the kid die. Well, get, the kid gets sucked on the face in less than ten in six minutes. We're six minutes in the movie, and the oh, kid, yeah. a kid, is about to die, which is so crazy. Yeah, but yeah, I, I wrote Predator Planet for like one minute. <laughs> yeah, because um, yeah, it just basically shows the badass predator taking off in his ship, and then um, and then it cuts away. You know, yeah, he like gets some quick. he gets some equipment, but yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Yeah. But the thing about it is is like um here we get introduced to humans. Oh, which right, for right. the I, I'm going to this is my biggest flaw to this whole movie. The human storyline is so a big cluster fuck of what it is. Oh yeah, it's just it, nothing, it is really. the worst of this whole entire movie and it, it's just like so we complained in the first AVP, the last episode that we did about how the pre-log to the humans was too long. Mm-hmm. It could have started right off the bat. At least you could follow a storyline. Yeah, this in one, the whole. It's... There is so all over the place. And okay, so I wrote Colorado pickup because this was a joke about the fact that a Dallas. We find out. Yeah, I, I don't even know the sheriff's yeah. name. I just put in. No, no, no. This is the kid. Dallas. This is the other guy. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you knew who Dallas was. Yeah. Um. I don't remember the sheriff's name either, but yeah. the but yeah, the sheriff gets out and goes oh, da, 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 and then Dallas comes out, says his one liner. They get in the truck. I used truck. to ride the back of your car. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to riding the back of your car, and they get in the truck, and then they close, and then that's how we know that it's in Colorado because oh, it says right. Colorado that's Police right. Department. Yeah, and then that's and then we get introduced to uh, gotta wear a hat for uh, a hat pizza boy which I was like why are you bitching about I, wearing a hat I just I, wrote Dallas Jr. because I didn't Dallas know what his Jr. name was I uh, I do I did write his name down later on but I don't, I don't and, remember and what it for is for people who are fans of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Rickety Cricket was the boss at the pizza joint that was telling him to wear a hat oh he does show up later yeah because yeah. he yeah so I'm going in the tank <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't know uh, yeah 
But um Oh, and sorry, just one more side fact. Um the dude who plays Dallas Jr. or whatever his name is, Hats. Well, it's uh, Dallas's I, brother. Yeah. It's Dallas's brother. Yeah, because I did pizza I, guy is Dallas. Yeah, brother. pizza boy if you will. Um I think he's the same character who was on Sons of Anarchy and he played uh he played like the prospect for the first two seasons. But that dude went crazy, broke into some old lady's house and killed her and then fell out the window and died. <laughs> like it, wow. he was like on under the influence of like meth or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I yeah, I can't remember his name, but but it was a Wow, weird... he, uh I th- is his name Ricky? Yeah. I mean like the guy in the mo- in, I think in so. ABPR. Yeah, I think so. I, I think. think his name's Ricky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, Eddie is the cop. Eddie's oh, the Eddie, cop. yeah, that's right. That's his name. Yeah, I just called him Sheriff. Ricky the is the – and yes, you're right. He was in Sons of Anarchy. Okay, yeah. So the, that, the kid, yeah, that dude, the pizza boy. That dude broke into an old lady's house and fell out a window and died. Like, I think he <laughs> killed the lady too. It, it was a whole weird situation. <laughs> like, people had no idea what what happened. It it is, which is exactly how his storyline is. <laughs> yeah. Because – oh, man, we'll get into that later because that doesn't happen for a little bit. But then uh, do you have anything before Butch uh, decides to give us a hand? Butch is the dog. Um, Butch. Butch is the yeah. You remember when the uh, the the park ranger oh, comes oh, in? Yeah. and says, "Come on, so and so, we gotta get you out of here." And then Butch comes up with the dog. Yes, because I um, basic. Okay, so uh, oh no no no, never mind. Okay, You're, so good. that's when he gives Sorry. he gives the actual hand. Yeah, of the dad. Random cop and sewer bum dog find dude's melted arm because when the face huggers that doesn't happen until little bit which also well he the dog finds the arm and that's how they realize that the hunters or the kid and the guy's missing because when yeah when the face huggers attack the dude we we forgot like this part i thought was really cool because the the hunt the hunter dude shoots one of the face huggers with a gun some acid splat to his arm yeah and, and then it melts like off his me- arm yeah it looks like it's, plastic melting yeah it was it was done pretty it well it was a trip and yeah. then he gets face hugged then his kid like gets face hugged yeah and then later on when this cop's in the sewer or whatever he's trying to chase bums out of the sewer and then the dog the one of the bums dogs bring or the bums dog i don't know yeah his name's butch yeah he (laughs) brings he finds the arm and then brings it to the sewer and the cops like oh wow like what we gotta search for uh what's his face and and sam i remember because the mom was yelling it after oh that's right but then we cut back to the pizza guy yes this all happens boom 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 and then we're back to the pizza guy again and it's like dude and so we get the um the the pizza guy comes up to the door and the the quote unquote hot girl opens the yeah, door and says crush. yeah like Jessie. come on in uh, like here's the pizzas and blah blah I mean, blah she was pretty hot though. yeah and then the the jock bullies are sitting yeah, on the I, I wrote the joke yeah I wrote the joke too <laughs> where I'll let you read this one I've read a couple of them but like the the setup is the bullies say something to him and then he says this yeah. quote. Yeah, because he was like, uh, oh, nice costume, Ricky. Yeah, isn't Halloween in October? Yeah. And then Ricky's like, oh, at least I know who ordered the sausage lovers. Yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> it was like, I put lame bullies. Like, yeah, that no. was terrible. This is, uh, oh, man. And then $53.50 for four pizzas? Yeah, that's pretty pricey. Oh, my God. What did they get? Like four toppings on each pizza? Yeah, they must not have used any coupons. No. Like I, you can get like two extra large pizzas for like $22. And my thing is, is like you have like five people there. Yeah. Did, did no one think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody pitching in for that pizza. It's just Jesse paying for it. Oh, yeah. And, it. Then, and she tipped him on top of that, so it probably gave him a 60 Yeah, gave 60 him a spot. tip. She wants, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so Ricky walks out, and then for some reason, the bully He's just sucker punch him and beat yeah. the shit out of him for literally no reason. Yeah. I'm like, what? You say one joke to somebody and, uh, that deserves apparently yeah. enough for you to get the snot kicked out of you. They were pissed off enough to the point where he had a comeback and they're like, I'll show him. Yeah. I'll just beat him up. Oh, man. And then takes the keys, throws it in the drain. Yep. And then we cut to the kid and the father again. Yep. We're, yep. And then we get a chest I, burster. I actually wrote chest burster father son moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Because the kid was all like, Dad, as he was watching his dad die in front of him. And then all of a sudden he went, ugh. And then a chest burster burst out of his out of his chest and the aliens screamed at each other. Like, <laughs> did you notice that? They, like, communicated with one another after they... Oh, but, I, didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, the, the, the fathers burst out and then the kids burst out. And they both looked at each other and went, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. It was so lame. We did it! Like a thumbs yeah. up from both of them. <laughs> exactly. They're like, we're bored. Uh, I wrote this down. Because then we get cut right back to uh, Ricky breaking into his own house because he doesn't have his keys. Oh, that's right. And yeah. uh, we find out Dale Collins is the bully's name. The reason why I wrote that down is because I thought he said Phil Collins. Oh. And I was like... Wait, you named a character Phil? I had to rewind that like five times for for me to realize that you said Dale. Uh, and then when they, I don't know if you have anything in this scene, but I just wrote this down because um, because it was really weird. Oh. Was the apartment number is five two two four one sixty? Yeah, I was I like, what the I hell? That was re- that was really strange. I was like, it was like a phone number for an address. Yeah, because I'm like, wait, like even if you said, oh, it's apartment building number four with this number, there's like eight numbers there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it would have had to been like a street number, a floor number, an apartment number, all like combined into one. Yeah, it was really weird. Um, we did forget to mention that right before we cut to Dallas Jr. breaking into his house, <laughs> uh, the military Ricky. military chick gets introduced, remember? Because military lady comes home. Oh, that's and, right. That's and right. we don't even get her name, I don't think. Nope. I, I don't uh, even Not remember. until later. She meets, yeah, so this lady that was in the military is coming home. She meets up with her family. She sees her daughter, and her daughter just starts rooting around in her bag and pulls out some night vision binoculars and goes, are these for me? Yeah, and, in a really, like, bitchy tone of, yeah. like, I I don't want these at all. Yeah, I was like, first of all, like, you were just expecting something, and then you dug around in her bag, and then the mom's like, what, you don't like them? And then that was it. And then they cut away from that, and uh. then it goes to the brothers because they argue because – Little bro's going to grab a bat, and he's going to go beat the snot out of the bullies. But then big bro's like, dude, quit being an idiot. Let's just go find your fucking keys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, so he takes away the bat, and then they go to the – or they're getting ready to go to the sewer. And then that's when the sewer bums get uh, get got by some face huggers. Yes, I do have face hugger gets hobos. Yep. And my one of my favorite parts about this scene was, okay, so there's one of the aliens that had hatched before or, or chestbursters had grown up at this point. And because they they grow up increasingly fast, and uh, it was like there were two face huggers that got two bums, and then this girl bum was coming back like Charlie, you better save some of that whiskey for me. Yeah. And then the aliens just like there, and it creeps its head around the corner, and it's like growling at her. It's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, like that's what I felt like it was gonna say if it was gonna say yeah. something. You know, like get out of here. This is my place now. You know. Yeah. I don't know if it was the Predalien that killed her though. But yeah, anyway, it, it was. Yeah. Just a, just so that we all know. This is 20 minutes into the movie. Oh, We right. have complained yeah. about and have applauded some of these films of how fast they introduce the monsters. All of what we've just said was 20 minutes in. Yeah. And it's just all like, happening so fast. I was going to say this is like the opposite problem that the first – that the movie prior to it had because I think they were under the impression that like what we said where they were like, okay, this movie took too long to get started. Let's just get it going. And now at this point, there's no character development, and they just start right into it. Yeah, it's like if the first movie was like a regular, like, I don't know, let's say say it's like a regular car, right? And it just somehow isn't doing so. It's just a regular car. But then when they were trying to write AVP, they were like, well, let's put, let's make this car go like max speed 200 miles an hour. But then they just decided to slap NOS in it, too. And they yeah. were just like, floor this thing. And they hit the NOS and let's yeah, go. Yeah, it hits the ground running. Yeah. Like, there's no no human character development. No. I, it, I'd say the most the most character development for any character in this movie is, is the Predator. Like, the Predator is yeah, essentially the star probably, of this movie, yeah. from what I've noticed. because The Predator he, and the Predalien he, are the main yeah, two things in this whole movie. They've got more character than the humans do, because the, the Predator's and a badass. And they don't say anything! Yeah, <laughs> which is the greatest thing, because the Predator's a badass, and you can tell that the Predalien, the entire movie, is just taunting him. Yeah. Because every time he sees it, it just looks at him and goes, Yeah! And then it runs away. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun with my lackeys! Exactly. And then it runs <laughs> Because the Predalien has this special ability that... that <laughs> You'll find out no other alien has to where it can basically shove its tongue, its second mouth tongue into a human and just implant eggs into it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah this it, is which, what was really – that's later you, in the film. But yeah, you technically gross. find it out later, but I'm, I'm going to just give, give it away now. No, no, yeah. Because – 
because you see hints of it like you see it go up to humans and like you think it's just straight killing them but essentially it's doing this whole thing and that's why there's more and more aliens popping up throughout the film because you don't realize that oh there's more of them like multiplying along with the so maybe hunters. that they maybe that's more confirmation that it is a queen yeah that's why i assume it's yeah. a queen is because it's able to just impregnate people and then and then later on you'll see more of that but uh but yeah it just it, it cracks me up and so th- this essentially is where you see the badass predator show up on earth he crash lands yeah this is the fr- next to the ship yeah after the the bum thing yeah we get the predator thing and i wrote predator tech still no good in water yeah <laughs> yeah He's, yeah because he, he like comes back or whatever and and is no longer invisible yeah um, and then we get introduced to predator rewind Oh, right, yeah, because he's watching, like, the whole thing in reverse, right? On, yeah, like, like, he's able – so apparently the masks record what they were yeah. – what they've – I guess the war that they're fighting or whatever battle that they're going Yeah, it's in. A, essentially like if they had cameras on their suits. Yeah, it's like, like it's a body what, cam for yeah. them, but it's literally just their, what they're watching yeah. right now. Um, And then I wrote one of the coolest, like – uh, weapons that I've ever seen the Predators use is an imploding wristwatch. Oh, because right. it's not yeah. the explosion like we saw in Predator. Yeah, it's an impl- it's an implosion because mm-hmm. all of what Predator Predator is doing the whole movie he's is like destroying evidence. Yeah, he's essentially making it so that there's no evidence that they've ever been there and that the Xenomorphs have never been there. And it's really cool too because essentially when he gets to the ship, he's arming himself with a bunch of weapons. Like he picks up two blasters and puts one on each shoulder, which is badass. Um, and then he arms himself with a bunch of like sensors and grenades and, and he gets himself a chain whip and, uh, yes, which is also cool. And he had a couple other weapons, like he had his wrist blades and stuff. And then, um, and then he picks up this little blue vial of liquid. So and what that's, I want to know that's is what he's using to, to like get rid of evidence. So my question is that obviously that's like an acidic type of thing. Uh huh. So are the face huggers in that acid when they're transporting them? That's because like, like in the ship. Yeah, because like that liquid was in the jars, right? And so like. Oh no, I think I think they were in like a different fluid. Oh okay. Yeah, okay. it looked like like some kind of. Because I was just wondering, I was sort. just wondering to try to connect dots. If it, it, are the eggs filled with that acidic blood? And oh, the, I see. And what so you're saying. like you know how when a human is in their a mom's stomach, yeah, like it's all covered in like, fluid yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So like, is that their sort of ambiotic fluid? Is this acidic type of thing? I'm not sure. I don't. Think, I don't know. I don't think it is, but I mean, yeah, because I think the the eggs for the face huggers, I think they're in some kind of like little sack or whatever. But I don't think it's like acidic because because when the humans get next to them, I don't think it ever burns them or anything. But I don't think I've ever seen a human pick but, up. The but yeah, they egg well, yet. yeah, because I'm yet, not sure yet. So yeah, we haven't I, gotten I to those films yet. Yeah, because I can't remember if they do that in any of the alien movies if they ever actually physically touch an egg. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I guess we'll find out at some point. Uh, but then yeah, we get cut uh, back to um, Molly in her bedroom. Yeah, and I her, just put, all her mom wants to do is read a bedtime story, yeah. and I wrote, "Mom is an asshole to her war fighting mom." Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I put family blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's basically the dad telling the daughter to be like, "Hey, you said you missed mommy. Like, tell her that you miss her." Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, the fucking family. And then after that, it cuts right back to Dallas and what Ricky or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bobbing. I said bobbing for keys and shit water. Yeah. <laughs> and my favorite thing was as soon as they got down there, Dallas. I, I'm pretty sure it was Dallas. He was like, "Smells like something died down here." <laughs> and yeah, like, and oh, there's like a dead decaying <laughs> body like in the corner <laughs> that they're passing. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely. It's great. I put har har. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, man. and and so why they're searching for the keys. Uh, Ricky hears something, so he takes his flashlight and shines it, and he sees one of the most recent baby aliens that attached. And then, uh, and then he, the Dallas was like, "It's just a rat." And he, he's like, "It ain't no fucking rat." <laughs> and, like, and, then, and then Dallas finds a molted skin in God, the this sewer This movie is such an early two thousands movie. Like, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I wonder, when when did this come uh, out? I think it came out in two thousand and six maybe close 2007 oh okay yeah because it it's a couple taking years place after. in 04 yeah so we do it. but yes 2007 but it definitely feels like a 2007 movie like that i don't know just the way it looks is definitely 2007 kind of stuff yeah um but yeah anything else happening uh, in the sewer no well yeah they just find their their keys sewers creepy um yeah and then it cuts away and then yeah it goes right back to party. predator 
Or, uh, yeah, the yeah, search, the search party. party first. The search party. And then they mention – so this is what was weird about it. They are like – so there's this whole argument with the sheriff and, like, the town folk. And then one of the guys is like, oh, we, we hear – around our town blah 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 we we keep track of our own kind of thing yeah and then they go off and then like it seems like only a couple hours have passed and then they're like yeah all right we'll see you yeah, guys so they, they call, going home yeah because at one point i remember them mentioning they were like yeah we called the search off at 2 a.m you know and it's like only been like six hours since yeah. they were missing you know because they were out like maybe in the afternoon at some point it might have been like 12 hours i don't know give or take it was at least half a day but they yeah they called the search off and in the middle of the night and the mom's like but they wouldn't stop searching for me and then the cops like just go home go to sleep <laughs> like we're, we'll check it out in the morning you know but one of the cops ends up staying out um i forget what the cop's name was like rob or, or ray ray i knew it started with an r yeah i have um, ray down here yeah and then this is when we cut yeah, to the predator predator finds the father yep uh, faster than the search and rescue crew. Yeah. And he literally just got there. Yeah. Uh, and then he just pours his magic decaying potion on these guys. And then they just start decaying from yeah. the face huggers to the, to the bodies themselves. Yeah. And it's really interesting how it works. Cause he's like, it's like he pours it on a thing and it melts that thing, but it doesn't melt anything around. Yeah. It, it just, it just destroys the cells essentially. Yeah. So it's just of really, the, it's really interesting. Being how it works like and it doesn't look like it affects plants because the hunter and the eight face huggers were all laying in the in the woods mm -hmm. so it doesn't look like it left any mark on the plants or anything and then a uh, predator kills a runaway cop at 33 minutes yeah that's yeah. right everything that has just happened was literally 10 minutes of what we just yeah. last checked in yeah and that was <laughs> and that's ray who was out searching he was yes. like gonna give it a last pass and then yeah, Predator, basically, his walkie-talkie goes off, and Predator's like, fuck no. So he chases after him, just stabs him right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so then the mom is, like, handing out flyers uh -huh. at the uh, at this, like, on the street or whatever. And this line, this, this dialogue back and forth yeah. was so messed up that it was, like, in the sense of the delivery. So she, the mom goes, have you seen my father, or have you seen... Wait, why does it say father and son? I'm assuming it's supposed to be, have you seen my husband and son, is what the mom says. And then the man goes, okay. And then she goes, thank you. Yeah. And I'm like, wait. What was so, yeah, it's just a weird way that, yeah. like, they, they, she delivered it, and then he responded with okay, and then she said thank you. I was like, and he didn't even take a flyer. I don't think he saw, or maybe he did. It, it was but a like, really strange interaction. It's only like a blip of a couple seconds, but it's just like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Like, come on, you make a movie, just shoot the thing again. And, and I think this, this is a. Uh... This is where we see that waitress, right? Yeah, I, I wrote, everyone hangs out at the diner, but none of their... I was like, because I wrote that, expecting all of their timelines to start crossing. Yeah. Nope, they don't care. Yeah. They just it, they were just all in the same place, and then they never acknowledge that they're in the same place. They don't even need to be in the same place. Yeah, because Dallas was there. The cop... And then uh, the cop shows up. Yeah, to talk with, with Dallas. Yeah, and then there's that waitress who's helping them out, and then... Over on another table is the mom, this uh, husband, and Molly, the military mom. Oh, and that's Molly right. Molly yeah. and the husband are sitting at another table on the other end of the cafe, but they never acknowledge. Why are they there? They're just there. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it was uh, just a waste of time that explained that they were here also. Yeah, and the wa and the waitress is uh, Ray's wife. Yes. So yeah, just I just want to mention that before I forget. So maybe they, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I think they may. Yeah. I think they maybe explain that like the military girl might know one of the waitresses. I I can't remember, but it was just well, weird and, how none of their timelines yeah. connected to each other to explain why they're all there at the same time. And and the the hunter's wife is like friends with the waitress, but you don't find that out until later when she comes by just to say hi or something. Which we'll get to at, at yeah. some point, but yeah, and then and then it cuts to uh, Dallas Jr. and Jesse, which is the Ricky. girl, 
and uh, and so pizza delivery. yeah, Pizza Boy and Jesse, and it's the worst flirting. Oh I've ever yeah, seen. this was bad. So bad. This was definitely it, early two thousands. Yeah, because she just like, or I guess late two thousands. He parks his car on the side of the road, and he's getting ready to go into work or whatever, and she just happens to be there, and she leans in and is all like, with her sensual lean. Yeah, she's of, all hey, like, how are you doing? I see you staring at me in class, and he's like, oh, oh I'm, uh, I'm looking at the clock yeah and it's just turn just around like, sometime maybe you'll see it yeah. <laughs> it's like what the and, f- and she's just like let's go swimming it's yeah like, yeah let's fuck? go let's like, go swimming yeah and i'm not i'm not gonna lie man i think this girl's a little a little bit promiscuous because she she mentions that she had just broke up with her boyfriend like that and day it's totally dtf and, right now yeah and she's all like hey let's meet at the pool at the high school tonight at 10 yeah, p.m here's the thing the re- the reason why I have a problem with the human storylines is because so like how we d- like how we did in the in the first AVP was there was too much explanation of pre-human stuff. Yeah. In this one was a lack of pre-human stuff. Yeah. Obviously there's a history between the girl and the guy of Ricky and what is the girl's name? Jesse. Jesse. There's some sort of thing and like it could have we could have got that explained like a like an American pie type of explanation. Right, right. Like here's a brief thing, here we go, moving on, blah blah blah. And then it would explain why the hell they beat the crap out of him in the middle of the road yeah. for no reason and like no one should, helped him. <laughs> it's, instead of them talking about that scene, they should have shown that scene. Yeah. And because it was I'm I'm a uh, because I'm guessing they're high schoolers. Yeah, or maybe uh, maybe. But they look like college students. But I was gonna say maybe so, freshmen in college. Yeah, because like they when don't they, really specifically mention yeah, what they are. It's just really weird of like the everything that the first AVP had that we complained about. They like you were saying they probably tried to figure that out in this movie. Yeah, but they just they trimmed they, they, too much. Yeah, fat. they went way to the bone on this, and yeah. it was just oh god, it just missed so many times but you're right i didn't even write that down but i definitely was trying to figure out how to implement that in my notes of like god this was this is not a good scene and yeah, then he puts just, the hat back on like yeah what? i'm like what's the problem with that and it honestly doesn't mean anything they never yep. refer to that ever again after that one scene yeah. after that pizza scene they never talk about it again it's just to implement the fact that he's i don't know yeah, I don't know. It doesn't come add to any... terms with wearing the hat. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand like what it is that it it explains. Like, I guess maybe he puts the hat on because he's like, oh, she likes me anyway, so I'm gonna wear whatever I want. I don't know. It's yeah, stupid. yeah. Because essentially, when he went to go deliver the pizza before, he took the hat off and like redid his hair. And yeah, stuff, he's which all, is it's he's too short. So when he messes up his hair to feel like it, it just stays the same. Yeah, because exactly. his hair is short enough for it to do that. Yeah. Like, oh man, it makes no sense. Uh, but then anyway, after that scene, we get to see a uh, strung up Ray Deskend, and uh, that's the runaway cop. Oh right. This is the predator signature, as they say. Yes. Of stringing it up, just like how he did in the first, second AVP. Yeah. Dude, actually, yeah. they didn't do it on AVP. Uh. They just did it in Predator. Yeah, Predator that's 2. right. Yeah, because they didn't. They didn't really kill any of the humans except for at the very. No, they did. They killed they, a lot of humans. No, they did at the beginning. Remember when the when the guy before he fell down the tunnel, he had run into the bodies hanging in the the like. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah, they were all frozen. Okay, shit. so they've they've done it every movie so far. Yeah, because okay. yeah, because it was in, outside at the base camp. They strung the, up like three uh, the of thing, them. The uh, thing, backlot that they were filming on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um. Um, so, uh, badass goes to the sewer. He, uh, tracks the, the face huggers and stuff. The remaining face huggers. He's following like a little Kim trail using his mask and he tracks him to the sewer. And as he's in the sewer, he's laying all these little sensors around. The oh, sewer. this was and, so cool. And, I was, and he has like a little HUD on his, on his mask. So he's got a little mini map and stuff. Yeah. And my favorite part is after he lays all of his sensors down, he, he jumps down and goes, yeah, because he calls up. all of the pr- <laughs> yeah. all of the xenomorphs over. <laughs> yeah, because he he's like, all right, I'm ready. Let's do this. And then he screams so yeah. that it calls them all in. And then he activates them all. And then they're just like laser like netting. Yep. And he just like blows them off into the thing. And then he just cut into like hamburger bits. Yep. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. He, he essentially sets a trap. He kills. He kills two of them for sure. Um, and then he's about to kill the other two in a badass way because they both attack him. He grabs each one by the throat with one arm, stands up straight, 
aims both his guns at either one. He's getting ready to shoot him, but then the Pred Alien ambushes him. Yeah, it was kind of weird. It was just going... (laughs) Yeah, it's like both his guns were independent of one another, and they were just firing in all directions. But then the Pred Alien ambushes him and knocks him off balance, so when he fires the bullets, they both shoot holes in the walls, and then the Pred Alien and the two other Xenomorphs escape. Yeah. Uh, There was also a really weird quote to Eddie. Um, It goes... Because Eddie comes back to, I think, the police station or something like that. Yeah. And he's about to go and, like, I don't know what he's doing. I can't even remember. But anyway, this line was really dumb because he goes, the guy tells Eddie, he's like, Eddie, you're way over your head. What are you going to do? And I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> he's even, what are you going to tell him he's way over his head and then you're just going to tell him, what are you going to do? <laughs> I was like, what? So it was, weird, man. It was, oh, man. It's like he almost, like, Eddie should have had a line, but then didn't have a line, or Eddie should have said something before, and yeah. then that should have happened. I don't know. It's it like he just... forgot his line, so they just improvised. Yeah, what know? are you gonna do? He already said him. To, he got too excited to say his line, so he said them all at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. So crazy. Uh, and then I wrote Eddie's the cop. <laughs> yeah, and then I think that's, and then it, it cuts back to the xenomorphs escaping in the town, right? Uh, not yet. We oh, get okay. the girl. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, because I thought the waitress was after that. Girl asks pizza guy on pool date for whatever reason. This is the plot for him. <laughs> that was okay. Oh, so well, I'm a little, well, yeah, I'm a little behind on you. Well, and then, yep, I got laser net, new weapon. Aliens crawl out yeah. the sewer through open manhole. Yeah, because the, the fucking stupid brothers were left the manhole open. So this is like now they are able to crawl through it, and then they're also they bust another one for the pred alien to go through. But yes, this is where that that well, was before that. The the uh, well yeah because don't forget about the waitress because the xenomorphs yeah escape. we haven't gotten there yet we're getting there now well that's before the before the date no 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 this was the asking out I was a little behind on my oh oh yeah, I yeah, got yeah. you okay now, okay now I'm with you I I, I, I was listening to you for oh too much. that's right yeah because the the predators when they escape into town yeah that's right they blow that hole um or the predator shoots well the hole. some of the aliens go through yeah they go through the manhole but when the predator escapes he shoots a hole into the concrete yeah and yeah out of it yeah for him okay. to leave but I'm like. What the hell? Yeah. So the brothers just like went and got their keys and then just left, left the, man- the yeah. manhole cover. I That's was like, right. this is what is this plot? I'm like, oh man. Yeah, those poor those poor uh construction manhole sewer workers or whatever, they're gonna yeah. have to go find the problem. Um uh, where so I? so when the xenomorphs escape into town. Now this part was weird. Okay, so the waitress whose husband she fi- I think she had found out at this point that he was dead. Um, and she's at the restaurant, right? And yes. then the chef, who is, I'm assuming, the boss as well, is talking to her. And he was just giving me, like, a creepy vibe. Okay, so before that, rewind a little bit. Just before that. The waitress gets slime on her hands. And then she walks in and wipes it off on a towel. I thought oh, that was uh, gross. Yeah. I, I was s- like, what the fuck? No, wash your hands. You what, <laughs> You just went and dumped out garbage. Just like, That's I don't know. That too. just grossed me out. I was just, anyway. Uh, yeah, because she had gone outside, and I guess, the, yeah, one of the xenomorphs was like sliming on her hand, and she didn't even like look up. Or yeah, nothing. there was no point of that even happening. Just the fact that there's xenomorphs around here because there's slime. Yeah. And, but it was just really weird because I was like, she just walked in and she didn't even like watch it. She just wipes it off. Yeah. If I got slime, regardless of a xenomorph walking around, if I got slime from like a dumpster, yeah. I'm washing my hands like after that. I'm not wiping it on a towel. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So uh, fast. Now we're here and now yeah, so the, the chef is talking. Yeah. And so he's just like, oh, sorry about your husband or whatever. You want to come stay with us, like me and my wife? And she's like, no, so and so is going to come pick me up. And that's I'm assuming that's the other the hunter's wife. I think that's who she's talking about. Yeah, because I never yeah, actually. Yeah, because this is a name. different waitress uh, now. Yeah, because this is the waitress. Just this is the cop, the Ray, the cop who died. This is her, his wife. And so then, then the chef like turns around and he's he like looks at her with this weird like. I'm I'm like gonna attack you and like take you to my house kind of look. <laughs> and and then I didn't get that vibe. Oh, it was so it. weird. And then he's just like, "I'll see you tomorrow," you know. And it was like, "Dude, okay, all right. like I don't know what it was about that scene. It just seemed like the the yeah. chef was just like creepy. Like he had always had like a thing for the waitress, and now that her husband was dead, he was like now ready to take advantage. Yeah, I don't and know. And then she walks through the little double door thing, and then all of a sudden you hear, Aah! and then he he collapses. 
And then, then you see the waitress go back in, freak out because she sees a xenomorph, and then the pred alien. Yeah, well, I wrote down. I wrote clever girl pred alien yeah, takes the yeah. next kill for at the diner. <laughs> yeah, and this is when you're getting a hint of initially like the pred alien because you see it lunge for her face, but then it cuts away, and yeah. then um because we don't see the the gulping down, yes, but we yeah. do see the uh, the, the after I- iconic scene from later in the series we'll be talking about. In Alien, where the like, the like look away, but Xenomorph is right, right there on oh, you. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's they took that scene. There's a lot of parts of this movie that, like I said, with AVP was there's a lot of scenes that have nostalgic feels to them. Like I was giving it a hard time with the Wailing Depot. Looks like it's the thing, like from the yeah. movie The Thing, but it's not really. It's its own thing. But it, you know, there were t- parts of it where it was trying. I I gave it a hard time about it. This movie. Took a lot from another, oh, like yeah. a lot of other movies, and then they just like took half of that. <laughs> like yeah. they never fully committed to whatever it was going to be. It, it's just weird how this movie all panned out. <clears throat> but I wrote, um, the, it cuts to Predator on this like like a mile away, yeah, uh, dude. and then he shoots a cannon like a mile away, and I'm like, dude. Yeah, when has a predator ever done that? Yeah, he usually they, is like real close to them before he shoots cannons at people. Well, I well actually, okay, that brings up a point I was thinking about when I was watching this. Like, this predator is not about stealth at all. Like <laughs> this predator, because I don't know, but he's also like, been lurking in the woods and you know dumping. Yeah, acid I on mean, things. he's he's like damage control like maybe okay because because he when he's in the woods he's not being quiet he goes out of out of camouflage mode when he's looking at the bodies when the cop shows up he doesn't even like re-camouflage he just kills him (laughs) and then and then when he's chasing after the aliens he's just firing willy-nilly he's just attacking them he's screaming and stuff he's he's not being really stealthy about it i think he's just there to basically take out what needs to be taken out and then he'll leave you know like he's just trying to make sure that nobody knows that there's evidence of the predators and the aliens ever being there but not necessarily going to be quiet about it like he'll just kill anything that gets in his way because he doesn't necessarily show uh this predator doesn't have like the same necessary moral code per se yeah like he just kind of kills anything that gets in his way (laughs) yeah uh i did say uh this is the best predator camo it's still kind of oh yeah yeah it's still kind of bad but it is the best predator camo yeah it looks yeah it looks pretty good like as far as blending in and stuff like that (laughs) i wrote ricky is the pizza guy's name (laughs) and then after the whole like battle at the like half the battle goes on over there like at a power plant or whatever we cut back to uh sexy time at the pool yeah and uh and then she says so Ricky and what is her name again i forgot Jesse. jesse go into the pool area and she's like well, do you have a key? And he goes, and then Jesse says, uh, I taped the door during class. And I'm like, wow, that is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> because then I'm going to get to that in a second because I got to get this out because it irritated me that this was in a, a 2007 movie set in 2004, but it's still irritating. Anyway, so they get, you know, all sexy time. And then she looks, she gets undressed yeah. to bra and panties. And then she looks over and she goes, are you looking at me? Yeah. Or are you looking at the clock? And I'm like, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and then the bullies show up. Here's what irritated me though. I don't mind sex scenes. Okay. I don't mind it. If it furthers the plot. Okay. Uh-huh. That's why I have a little bit of problem with game of Thrones in some ways. Sometimes they do it appropriately and not too long. Sometimes it goes on forever. But anyway, we get one last ass shot for literally no reason before the bullies show I up. I know. And I, I was I like, why that. are we looking at – I mean, I'm not complaining really that much, but, like, why are we looking yeah, at this? Yeah, it was like she went to go pull her pants up, and then she just put her ass right in front of the camera, and it just lingered for, like, three seconds. Yeah, because she does it kind of slow, yeah. and then she pulls it up really fast. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, all right, whatever. Just gratuitous ass shot. Yeah, it's an R-rated film. No, if it's an R-rated film, she's getting buck-ass naked. Yeah. That's what should have happened. It's an R-rated remember, film. I don't remember any curse words. <laughs> oh, they, they swore a lot. Yeah, I know. I just... <laughs> um, but then, uh, okay. What were you going to say about the tape Actually, block? this doesn't. So when we get back to the pool, I'll explain what it. So the tape block, just remember that. But now we're cutting back to the power plant, okay? Yeah. Uh, Predator blows up the power to, in the whole yeah. entire city. Yeah, he's just this one power. Just... This one power place. Yeah. 
It's like it's like if the, apparently this town has no source of power anywhere except for this one plant. So the Which entire is dumb. town goes down. Yeah, it's it, just, like it's how ridiculous. is there is there only one source of power for the whole city? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't like, imagine because their hospital's running on generators, but it doesn't look like the hospital when yeah, ours what is, like on security generator. Yeah, like, like they're barely there's like it's no re- lights or nothing. Yeah, it's using the exit lights as lights. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's yeah. weird. Um. And then we cut back to the pool because uh, there's a whole battle that happens over there. At the, before we cut back to the pool, do you got anything before that? Oh, no, no. That's just pretty much the power goes out for everyone. Yeah. And then we cut back to the pool and I wrote, Alien likes to swim, uh, likes to join swim party. Yeah. A couple of the aliens just showed up at the high school conveniently because that's where some of our main characters were at. Yeah. We're, yeah, Ricky and Jess. I, were, I do uh, have an issue with this part of the movie though okay. because okay i so, do as well oh so. okay i wonder if it's the same thing so the so the alien oh well first of all the bullies show up and they're beating the crap out of dallas jr and <laughs> they are all in the pool and they're basically dunking them under the water and the girl's going no stop it you're drowning yeah you're, him. Drowning. you're drowning you're him. drowning him and, and then an alien shows up is swimming in the pool and then she goes oh god get out of the pool so so junior dale <laughs> ricky uh and <laughs> then the and lackey number one they Make Lackey it out. Two. Yeah. Uh, token black guy gets token. killed first. I forgot he was black. <laughs> yeah, he was the first one. I don't one to... see color. <laughs> yeah, he was the first one to go out of the bullies group. He gets sucked into the water by the alien. And then as. <laughs> and just and, obliterated and, through his skull in the water. And this is the part I have the problem with. Instead of running directly to the door where a uh, running car is waiting yep. because the bullies left their car running I with the lights. I didn't even notice this, but yeah, you're with right. With the lights pointing into the gym. Instead of running directly to that car, jumping in the car and driving away, they run down the hallway to a door that is chained yeah, shut. Yeah, okay, so here's my problem. What fucking door in 2004 is chain locked? Yeah, especially It's not the school, 80s. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a sec- first off, it's a security problem. Yeah. So second, because... Obviously, someone's at the school at all times. Yeah. So it's like, what is ha- – what? How does that make any sense? Like, why are there chain locks? Like, as soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, my God. Is why it, didn't they what are we, lock- Stranger Things? Like, that would be the only appropriate time for this to be chain locked. And why locked. wouldn't they have chain locked the other door? That's that exactly – that's exactly why I had a problem with her taping the damn lock. I was yeah. like, what – how – so and there was just so much like it what was super inconsistent yeah. with the rules of this and locked then the, school. Yeah, so be, it was only to explain that the xenomorph needs to kill two of these people yes. so that the bully doesn't have any lackeys anymore. Exactly. So they so they end up in the locker room and they're escaping through a window and then lackey number two gets pulled in by an alien as Ricky's trying to save him. He's like, "Don't let me go!" And then he gets sucked in. And yeah, then, <laughs> you know, it's like a Titanic moment. Um, um, and then yeah. there's a. Uh, so then we cut from that because then the rest yeah. of them run away. And then, yeah, that uh, military. Eddie, no, no. Oh wait, there's military first. Yeah, because it goes to the girl member there. So I didn't write any of her notes down. I don't oh know. yeah, military. Just a lot of her scenes didn't. They, intrigue they, me, they, so they I just really didn't, didn't matter. It's just another character because military's basic. I don't know her name, so I just call her military. She's she. It goes to her house because the little girl picked up the night vision goggles and she's looking out the window and sees one of the aliens in the bushes. Uh, actually, this is this is just before that. This is just be, my my note is just before. Oh, that. okay. I must so, miss whatever your thing. So, was. Uh, radio says that the nuclear power plant has a problem, and I was like, but wait a minute. It's an electric power plant. Yeah, it wasn't, why is it wasn't nuclear. their nuclear? What the what the hell is generating power to the city? Nu- nuclear waste? It, it just weird. didn't make any sense. Like when she said that, I was like, "That is what does that even mean?" It's not like I don't know. I know that there's nuclear power. I know that there are nuclear powers. But where we what we were looking at was all electrical wiring and all that stuff. I don't know. Maybe it, I'm it, it, maybe it, I'm wrong. There were no smokestacks, so it wasn't a nuclear power plant. Yeah, it just it was very like, it, it, it was, was just a, to acknowledge that there was something going on. It looked like over a there. natural gas plant to y- me. If anything. Yeah, yeah, but to me it looked like a normal like coils and electrical outing stuff over there. Oh, like but, a like a char- like a station, a power station. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Apparently yeah. running the whole entire city though. Yeah, it it was weird. I don't know. And then yes, I wrote down monster outside my window. Yeah, and this this is what this. Scene, By the way, signs came up before this movie, so I just want to let you know. This scene made me laugh out loud because I I so military 
and her husband come in because the girl screams after she sees the alien outside. <laughs> and she goes, Daddy, Daddy, there's a monster outside my window. And they're like, oh, silly girl, you're just having a nightmare or whatever. And then he picks up a flashlight, walks to the window, and he goes, see, no monster. And shines the flashlight, and the alien's right there, and it bursts in and just fucking rips him to shit. I, I wrote that too. I go, see, no monster. Says there's no monster. Motherfucker dies. Bye, Dad. Exactly. <laughs> like, I, and I just, they just left him there. Yeah, like the yeah military picks up her daughter and they just fucking book it. Then and again, I though, just laughed with, out loud. Then again, with her training though yeah. of of a see like a situation like that when she you're was, yeah she knew that he was would gone. yeah I would. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt on that one because that makes sense for her character. Yeah, though she loved him. She can't do anything about it. She has to take the kid and run because that's all they can do right now. Yeah, there's no because she she quickly assessed that threat and realized I'm not going up against whatever the fuck that is. I'm out, so, you know, because she's essentially going to protect her daughter anyway. Yeah. So then we cut back yeah. <laughs> to the sheriff. A lot of cuts, and uh, and this is what bugged me again. Sheriff is at the power plant. Oh, knows right. there's yeah. no power. Guess what this motherfucker does? He calls dispatch. Oh, why why right. are you calling dispatch? Yeah, but you know there's no power. Yeah, because and then I think when they don't answer, he's like something's wrong or something. Yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, there's no power. There's no power. <laughs> there's, you can't get a hold of anybody. Yeah, they're at a station. Yeah. There's no electrical power. I don't know. I, I, Maybe I, it was to explain for the viewer, but like, still as a screenwriter, you don't need to explain that. That's just common sense. That yeah, you're there's showing no power. the audience. Yeah, what's you, happening? We we just saw Predator like 15 minutes ago blow up a thing, so we understand. That there's nothing happening anymore. Um, yeah, I put I put Preds killing everything, resolving everything. Humans scurry about, <laughs> and and then the that's pretty much the whole. That should be a tagline that we read later on. <laughs> yeah, and and the Predator when he was fighting the aliens in the power plant, he got hurt. He fell like a few stories and slashed the side of his his stomach open. So my favorite scene of every Predator movie. Oh, Preds the, meds. He, yeah, <laughs> Preds meds. Yeah, that's a good dude, one, yeah, I love it because they bust out the little med kit. <laughs> And he, his little travel case. <laughs> yep, and he uh, gives himself like a, a hyper shot or whatever. And oh he yeah, clamps, <laughs> clamps his wound shut and screams up to high heaven. I love it every time. There's a predator movie. There's that, always a med scene. Hold on, we, we before that, before we get to the the cemetery, we gotta step back a little bit. After the sheriff thing, we head back to the cafe. And we see the waitress. Oh, right. Yeah. And this is where we find out that she has three chest bursters, yeah. and we, w- which has now indicated that the uh, there are no longer face huggers, that the Predalien is impregnating people now. But we yeah. didn't see it, but it indicates that that's what's happening in the movie. We will eventually see later, but that's what's happening. Yeah, because it's even worse <laughs> later. Then we come back to this. Now, we're at the cemetery. And, uh, yeah, Predator sees the guy with, that's yelling at military and her daughter because they're trying to run away for some reason. And then this asshole is like, come here. Shut the fuck up. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, dude, oh. why'd you call him over if you're going to tell him to shut up? It's like you saw he ha- she had a daughter, but you called them over to hide behind a thing. So, anyway, and then the guy stands up. But then, just like the Predator in Predator 2, he sees the weapon. Oh, and so right. this is indicating, oh, he has a weapon. I can kill him. And then Predator just takes his little shoulder cannon and then blasts the dude's head off. Which, which <laughs> guy? Who are we talking about? This is the dude that is in the cemetery, and he has, like, a revolver. You don't remember the cemetery scene? I must have missed that scene. Yeah, this is a, they're in the cemetery, and they've called, like, the military and, do- and the daughter, Molly, are running away. Okay. And they've gone into a cemetery. And then he calls them over, and he's like, hey, come over here. Da, da, da. And he has a gun in his hand. And then she's like, Molly is like, why'd you leave daddy? And this and that and the other day. And he's like, shut her up. Shut her up. And I'm like, dude, you're yelling too, and you called them over. Damn, I completely missed yeah, that Yeah, and then this is when Predator, like, is healing himself. This is when he's healing himself. Yeah, because I, I think after I saw him heal himself. So you started, started typing. Yeah, yeah, I missed the rest Yeah, of so it. when he was healing himself, he looked up and he sees them in his like predator vision. He sees the guy uh-huh. with the gun and then he just launches a cannon oh, and just explodes his head like it's like freaking a pinata. Oh, and it just man, explodes. You get to see it again, so don't worry. We're going to get to that later on. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, and then he is searching... 
uh, then the girl uh, military almost tries to grab for the gun, but then he, she sees the lasers onto the oh, dead body, gotcha. and then so she just waits. And then when the laser goes away, then she picks up the revolver and runs. Predator sees them, doesn't go after them. Yeah, because I did. I think that's when I looked back up because I saw him watching them run because that's right before they meet the group. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So cause... yeah, I don't know why he didn't shoot him, but he didn't. Yeah, maybe he maybe he didn't see him pick up the weapon necessarily maybe she maybe the, he just was noticing them running away because because maybe when he took the light his like laser beam off the weapon maybe he, like looked down or something and then they picked up the weapon and ran and he's like oh okay that's just a lady and her child yeah I, 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 so, don't know. I don't know i don't know what they were it, thinking yeah but. he and i mean more or less the predator was not concerned with the humans whatsoever he wasn't even worried about them like no they, they did they, get in his way and he yeah, would take he care of them quickly though. took care of them. yeah um, we, we see the national guard show up, um, because at this point, other than military and her daughter, the main group is together. It's Dallas, uh, the sheriff, um, junior, Ricky. um, and then the girl, Jesse and the last bully Dale. Yes. Um, and then they show up at a gun shop because they need weapons. They're afraid they're not going to well, make it Well, they're out of town. driving and Dallas, I think says, or somebody says, Hey, people are dying. We need guns. Yeah. I'm like, what the? Yeah, okay. it, it was a, yeah, it was a weird thing. Because so, I think they don't understand what's happening still. Yeah. Because yeah. Dallas and the sheriff, in continuity, they shouldn't know what's happening yet. Yeah, they're just freaking out. They know something's happening in the town and people are getting attacked and killed. Yeah. Um, but and, then this comes to one of my favorite lines of the movie. Is though. this when they're breaking in? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's, what do you have? So uh, Dale is like breaking into the, the gun shop and he goes... Or, I'm sorry, Dallas. Dallas is breaking into the gun shop, and then Dale comes up, and he says what we're all thinking. Oh, This yeah. plan is stupid. Let's just leave town now. And then uh, Dallas says, uh, because we aren't going to make it out of town without weapons, dick. And he goes, we aren't going to make it out of uh, town without weapons, dickhead. You're too stupid to talk, Dale. Shut up. Yeah. I was like, I was like first off, why the pause at dickhead? And so I paused it. Uh, what he said, dickhead, because I thought that was funny. And then the last line of that makes it all worth oh, whatever. Li- yeah. You're too stupid to talk, Dale. Shut up. I love it. Is awesome. That is a really I, I good line. At, yeah, I laughed at that line when I heard it. And then, and then he, pre- Dale, pretty much shuts up the rest of the movie. He doesn't talk oh, after yeah, that at does. all. Yeah, he does. Um, yeah, and so they they end up at a gun shop. They start loading up on weapons, and then two guys pop out of the corner, and they're like, "Oh, don't shoot, don't shoot!" Oh, God. And it, it's basically they're just they're just red shirts, you know. And it was funny because one of the guys is like, "Nothing's or like I don't want to die over six twenty five an hour," you know, because he's freaking <laughs> Are out. Are you too high right now? Yeah, and they do it. <laughs> yeah, do it's the, like a the stoner smirk. Yeah, you know? I'm like, wow. All right, this yeah. is definitely 2007. <laughs> yeah, that that cracked me up. And then so military and oh well, then the national guard shows up they're communicating yes. well and this was funny too because um when they're arguing about getting weapons dallas is all like the national guard who knows when they're going to be here not any- we're going to die they're not going to be here anytime soon they go break into the place and then the national guard immediately shows up <laughs> after that yes. like they're in the building still loading up on weapons and the national guard shows up like 10 minutes after they say that and and it's it's not just, even that yeah because it's like like they cut from them talking about weapons to going to the weapon shop to the national guard showing up. And it's like, okay, they're immediately here after you said they weren't going to show up, but it, they don't do a lot of good because they're immediately picked off by all the aliens. <laughs> yep. like the xenomorphs show up and kill every single one of them did, in a matter of Did you minutes. notice the alien stealth grab for some yeah, reason? Yeah, I was the like, guy goes just straight up into he, the air. No, he grabs him from the bush and then pulls him into the bush. And I'm like, oh, what the hell well, is that? That's not an alien kill. Well, they did a couple of them because there was the one where the two guys were walking on the sidewalk. Yeah, it looked like the beginning of, the, of like a Broadway it, show where yeah. they're just like poking people out. And I'm yeah. like, what the hell's happening? The, the aliens, uh, they have um, a funny habit of doing these weird sneaky... Uh, like sneaky kills, I guess, if you will. It's it's kind of funny because uh, they're not as stealthy as they seem to be. Because yeah, one of the guys goes straight up. One of the guys gets pulled off to the side from the bush, and then um, a bunch of them. There was like one dude who was even. He was like behind the car trunk or whatever, and then an alien just kind of pops up behind him and goes, Ear! and then just grabs him and like does like a full Nelson on him and pulls him straight down. And then the guy who's 
talking on the radio or whatever, he pops his head up out of the tank and then immediately gets got. And so, like, the entire army's dead. Um, yeah, this yeah. was about the moment when I started to be, like, on the computer there um but yeah this is about the moment when i started zoning out oh and i yeah. started just writing random stuff so i didn't forget about it um i wrote the jokes are kind of weak uh acting is 2000s acting not the best yeah and alien and predator stuff is cool though <laughs> that's pretty much the best part of the movie is when the alien and the pred alien are on the screen um because like the human stuff is really not that important no um yeah, and so basically at this point, everybody's meeting up finally. Like, military and her kid end up at the gun shop, so they group up with the main group. And then um, there's a bunch of xenomorphs going into the gun shop as well. Predators following those xenomorphs. There's like two or three of them, I think. Well, before that before that happens, uh, the Predalien is now at the hospital. Oh, well, and yeah, I have, I have that. Like, essentially it's happening at, like, the same exact yeah, time. Yeah, so just a little before that scene, the Predalien scares and scars a bunch of newborns. Uh, yeah. And then kills a nurse and then pregnates a pregnant woman. Yeah. Which yeah. I was like, whoa, that's a lot of fucked up stuff happening really fast. Because first off, why did, a, why did the Predalien not kill, kill the babies? I, I think it was because they were behind the glass. Like, When has that ever stopped a well, alien well, ever okay, because so something's behind I, glass? <laughs> like, I, I have a feeling – okay, so my my impression of the Pred Alien is since it was part Predator, it had the instincts of a hunter, right? And so, like, more so than the regular Xenomorphs because, like, the Xenomorphs have, like, a very hive mentality and they just kind of do things on instinct, whereas I think the Pred Alien was a little bit more cognizant and it was able to think more outside the box because it, because it was able to lay traps. It was ambushing people and stuff. And I think what it was was essentially it showed up at the hospital, looks behind this glass and sees a bunch of babies, and it's like, oh, like, those are babies, Okay, so this must be some sort of like nursery or or some place where there's pregnant people. Or but whatever. isn't that taught to the predator? Because aren't the predators, even though they're on like some different age gap that we have, they still need to be taught things. So how is their mind? Obviously, he's escalating a lot faster than a normal predator would. So I guess like. Because you know, naturally, like predator, or are you talking about the predalien? The pred, the predalien. Because if it's saying like, because the reason why the predalien is uh, is growing so fast is because it has the genetics from the alien, from the xenomorph. Right. So predator, all of their race is like taught things. So like, do you are you saying that it just has this naturally well, instinctive thing of like, oh, these things are younglings. So I'm not gonna bother with these things. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's yeah, because I'm because that would be the predator side as opposed to the xenomorph yes. side would just be like I just need to kill everything because that's what I need. I need to get food. Right, right, yeah, because okay. because we do see the pred alien like kill other things and and I think it like consumes some bodies because you see some skeletons at some point in the movie and and you see one the of hobos the, the hobos are skeletons. oh okay yeah and then you see one of the one of the aliens like one of the xenomorphs at one point during the movie I don't remember when it captures a body and it starts like eating at it with its little tongue oh and yeah then the predator kills it um I think that happens a little bit later but I didn't write it down I'm pretty sure but uh uh so yeah because with the with the predators um their society is like I think they're all like based they're instinctual hunters like based off some background lore that I've been watching or whatever on YouTube like and these are all like from comics and extended lore and stuff so it's not necessarily canon but but based on some of that they're like their whole society is that way and so I think it's just kind of instinctual like they're just kind of born with that hunter's instinct um and so I'm that's what I'm I you know and I'm really giving it like the benefit of the doubt and so I'm assuming that the pred aliens like oh those are babies I don't need to worry about those. This must be an area where babies are made or created, whatever. And then when it goes in and notices the pregnant mothers, it's able to sense that they're fertile. And that's why it's like, oh, I'm just going to like put a bunch of eggs into these mothers. And it's just spitting them Well, into what happened it. to the fetuses? That were that's what I was curious about. I've because because the that. very first mother, her water breaks at that moment in time. Like her yeah. water breaks, the power's out. 
the nurse freaks out and is like, I'm going to go get the doctor. That's and then when the, the nurse gets, got. gets killed. Yeah. Yeah. And then the predalien shows or up kills the nurse. and, and then impregnates that mother. So it's like, she might've even had her baby while she was under, under knocked out with the aliens or the aliens could have consumed the baby while they were in her belly. Who, who knows? They really do not care about age gaps in this movie. They literally killed like a nine year old kid in the beginning of the movie. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. And then this pregnant, all these pregnant mothers are getting injected with all these eggs. And then like later on, you just basically see that their bellies are all burst open with a bunch of chest bursters and shit. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, and then there was one thing too, that I wanted to mention about, um, because that, uh, this is when this is kind of all happening at the same time. It keeps cutting back and forth between the hospital and, and then the gun and the gun shop. So, so uh, this scene kind of faked me out for a second because you see Dallas walking away from, from military. He's talking to her, and then all of a sudden he gets got, right? And it's like, oh, shit, they took out a main character. And then it goes and cuts to him, and it turns out he's just hanging upside down like half dazed. And it's like, oh, like did the Predator just like yeah, fake like, us out? Yeah, what was like, the trap? Because like, like the trap, psych, I guess. The, the trap almost seemed like it was set by the aliens. That's see, what was weird. I, but the Predalien is not there. See, so, I, I was thinking it was the Predator using the human as bait. No, that might be true. That might that explains that way better. Yeah, because I, the way I that thought the, it was the, the Predator. scene plays out is the aliens show up way before the Predator yeah. shows up. They and should then have finally, been inside at that point. Yeah, like they should have indicated Predator was like there and setting up traps at some point in time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they, Xenomorphs start showing up. Because they never explain why a Predator even walks into the, the gun shop. Yeah, he just, we, he's just we, tracking aliens. Yeah, but we just see him get strung up, then Xenomorphs pop out, then Predator shows up. So yeah. then that that's the way they indicate that Predator is there because of the Xenomorphs. Yeah, it was, um, it was really, really strange. But did you catch this one? That uh, Predator gets a kill, but then also blows off two dudes' heads. Did yeah, you see these, this one? the two okay. stoners or yeah, whatever. So this that was pretty much what he did earlier to one guy. Yeah, but they, he just they did they it point, again. They jumped up and and pointed the guns at him because they freaked out. And then he just looked at him and, and sh- two shots, just one to each skull. Yeah, <laughs> blows two dudes' heads yeah. off and shoots an alien, and the acid burns Dale. And then that Dale part, dies. that part was awesome. That burns Dale. Yeah, because it was such a cool death scene. Like when the predator, there's an alien attacking Dale because everybody's escaping through the front door, and he's the last one. A xenomorph jumps on him and starts attacking him. The predator looks at the xenomorph and shoots him in the head. And or like essentially just shoots him, I guess, and the, the the laser beam like goes through most of its body, and the acid splatters everywhere. And when it lands on Dale, it like splatters across the front of his face. Yeah, and it just melts into his skull. Yeah, it was almost like the uh, what is that Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yeah, the, yeah, he's yeah. just melting like into a pile of mush. Or Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom would have yeah. been one, right? Uh, or Lost Ark? No, no it was think, Lost Ark because that was the yeah because it was the, it was the Ark, Ark of the Covenant. Covenant. Yeah. 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 Okay. Man, we gotta do those ones too. Oh yeah, we'll, um, we'll have to add. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much that scene. And then uh, Predator now has a hand cannon. Yeah, because his his uh his backpack thing broke, so that he breaks it oh, off right, and right. then breaks off the bit that needs the thing, and now it's just a hand cannon. Yeah, yeah. He Which just, is weird because I was gun. like, why were they not doing that before? Like, yeah, just because it's I guess computerized more. I don't know. I guess yeah, that cause, makes sense because his guns get broken during the skirmish and so once but the gun's not broken or well one of them is parts of them. the one gun's broken and then the other one doesn't function correctly so he takes off and yeah yeah to a that's handgun. that's right that's right yeah so that yeah i uh i thought that was pretty cool because it was like oh cool like they're multi-purpose or whatever um and then i thought it was funny because uh so it cuts back to the sheriff and then he's talking to he's on the radio um at some point, because I think this is when they okay. So actually, that's a rewind because they're they're talking. Oh no 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 no! This is after no, they get the no, tank. They get the tank. Yes. Yeah. So and then they radio to the guy that's in charge of the National Guard. Yeah, and he's and like, where's like, the rendezvous point? The army's being super suspicious. He's like, who is this? Oh yeah, uh, a drop will be at the center of town in like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, yep, exactly. go to the center of town. Nothing suspicious there. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, that's you see the writing on the wall now. Yeah, and and, and uh, just like one last part is yeah, yeah. the the okay, so the lady whose husband and kid died from the very beginning of the movie, they encounter her the waitress. At some, uh, this is the waitress. No, the waitress is dead. This uh, is another waitress. The the other waitress dies. Oh, I didn't realize she was. Oh, the wait-, wait, no, that's Ray's wife. Yeah, this Ray's, is this yeah. is this is um, this is the widow. From Sean the bar- Spencer's 
mom. Yes, yeah, the one who was <laughs> handing out the flyers. Yes, okay, um, all right. They, it was. It's so weird. There's so many characters in this goddamn movie, and, and they half all die. Yeah, half of them you don't even catch their name. So she, so flyer lady, she's flyer lady, she's hanging. Yeah. She cat like meets up with them at some point. Like I think she ends up running. Oh, oh the waitress they, is dead. The they, waitress. <laughs> they, yeah, that's right. They're passing by the the diner and they almost run her over and they stop and then uh, she's like, oh my god, she's dead. So they take her and when when they contact the government, they're talking about or like they stop at some point because they run into another group of people and they're like, we need to get to the center of town. That's where the evacs at. And then. Dallas and the military chick are all like, no, that doesn't sound right, because why would we go there? We'll be surrounded by these creatures. Like, we need to get out of town. And so they're going to go to the hospital to hopefully find a chopper there. And so Cricket, who's on the other uh, – who's on the truck with the other people going Cricket. to the center. Oh, yeah, yeah the, from – Yeah, the from, pizza boss yeah, or whatever. Yeah, so the pizza he, delivery boss. He switches to – he switches to the tank, but it was funny because the lady who was the widow or whatever – um, they're all like, the government's obviously lying. And she's like, nah, the government doesn't lie to people. Yeah. And it was like a terrible nod to yeah. like governmental type Be- stuff in that because movie. Because this is right before the 2008 election. It was yes. before Obama was president. Yes. And this is after all the George Bush stuff and everything. So it's yeah, kind of it's a little bit of commentary tr- on the yeah, whole trash on Bush, the presidency and all that kind of stuff. So it was just, it was a really funny line. So, so her and the sheriff end up going with the other group to but the But before they town. leave, they make this one stupid comment. Uh, the sheriff says this. And so they're all saying, like, Dallas is like, oh, come on, buddy, you need to come with me. And sheriff's like, oh, no, no, you need to come with me and this and that and the other deal. And then, then they're like, all right, we've made our choices. Yeah. If, you, you know, I hope that if I'm wrong, then I can meet up with you guys or vice versa in any way. And then sheriff goes, I hope we're both wrong. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck right. are you talking about? You hope you're both wrong? Yeah, because it was That means like, you're both going to die. Yeah, because Dallas was like, if you're wrong, if you're wrong, uh, everybody in town's going to die. And then the sheriff's like, if you're wrong, then you're going to die, or, or vice versa. And then at one point, the sheriff's like, I hope we're both wrong. So it's like, so you want everyone to die. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, like, this is... Wow. It, all right. It, it, anyway. It didn't make any sense at all. The Like... It was weird. Yeah, and then this is when the group gets separated. That's what I like. That's why I was like, didn't you mean right? Like, wouldn't you say anyway? uh, And then we get into the morgue, uh, and we get to see some dead titties at uh, an hour sixteen minutes in. Oh, that's right, the carcass. Yeah. Yes. So there you go. There's your R rating. I totally forgot about. There's your R rating. (laughs) No one wanted to get naked, so they had to make a model out of it just so we could throw nudity in the in the thing. And the hospital is a complete graveyard. Everyone's dead. It's been turned (laughs) into an alien nest. Um, Yeah, it has actually. Yeah, there's stuff all over the walls. It's essentially the temple. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. And then the the predator's floating around there. He he shows up at the same time. Yeah, predator kicks down an automatic sliding hospital door. Yeah, and this and this is what <laughs> I'm I mean. Like, he just busts it open. And I'm this like, is what I mean by the predator not being stealthy. No, he's, he's, he's just, just like, oh fuck it, I'm just kicking in this door. I don't even care anymore. It, yeah, I was like, all right, man, do you, man? It just explodes because he kicks it. But yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so cr- Cricket gets got. They're walking up the stairs, and an alien, <laughs> yeah, and an alien snags him because um, he was like trying to go with this group, so that way he could leave town. And he and he immediately Me- gets yep. killed. He's the first. He's the reason why everyone starts going down. And then the girl chases after or whatever. And then uh, alien, the xenomorphs start killing him. Predator shows up, throws a death frisbee. Yeah, and then a, it the, uh, yeah, the little uh, as collateral from the last movie. Yeah, and then collateral kills the hot girl, just stabs her right into the wall. I'm yeah, like, damn, dude. it was hardcore. Because, okay, all right. Yeah, because the predator kills like three aliens in this scene. Because this is one of the one of the scenes where I think yeah, because this is the one where the aliens eating. Because he grabs cricket, pulls him into the wall, and, and he's just and then <laughs> yeah, and he's like. <laughs> Shooting his little mouth at it, just taking little bites. It's it's so cute the way they eat. Like I, the aliens are freaky, but like it was just really adorable because he's just like, ow, 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 ow. yeah, he like, only can little eat nibbles. with his little like, yeah, yeah, his little teeny mouth. And so then the predator shows up and stabs him through the throat. Um, and then oh, a couple right. a couple more aliens show up, and then the predators attack him. So he takes out these two like shuriken frisbee things. That we've seen, and it was those in the, were in pre- the, these the are previous, AVP ones. Yeah, yeah, it was in the previous they, movie. They are not they're not Predator Two Death Frisbees. Yeah, and um, and so he throws them, cuts both the aliens' heads off. But then the the blonde girl's running because she freaks out from when Cricket gets taken, 
and as collateral damage, she's running and just just gets taken out. And this thing is like half the size of her. Like yeah, I didn't. Which I was wall, like, wait a minute. Didn't realize how big they were. Yeah, because like he's holding it and it his hand is is covering it. Yeah, and then he throws it and then kills her. And then she's literally it's her whole stomach. Yeah, it's her whole stomach that's just shoved into the wall now. Yeah, and I was like, oh boy. And it sucks because like it I sucks. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, the hot chick got killed. Yeah, man. didn't even get laid. This yeah, guy doesn't dude. even get laid in this movie. And, and it's funny too because Dallas Jr. freaks out and he starts running after the alien. Yeah, with Ricky the gun starts or whatever, shooting or the predator. predator. Yeah, he's like because they took some of the weapons from the military convoy. Yeah, and uh, he's got like a an M M. He just has like a automatic rifle. Yeah, yeah. Like I can't remember what. But uh, and then he gets stabbed by the predator. So I was looking down at my phone when I typed this. I don't understand what happened here. So what oh, I wrote was pizza okay. guy starts shooting at Predator, then gets stabbed by Predalien, doesn't die, though. So Where the hell did Predator go, and why the hell did Predalien leave? So as Ricky was shooting uh, the Predator, the Predator was getting, you know, boom, 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 you know, and, like, all the bullets were bouncing off of him. And then he steps back and falls down an elevator shaft. <laughs> like a what? Like a comedy oh, where he it, just accidentally slips on a banana peel and falls down an elevator shaft. Kind of, yeah. And oh so, my god! And so then, um, so then, uh, yeah. Ricky runs up to the elevator shaft and he's shooting all down until he runs out of ammo. And then he turns around like he's all badass and puts his gun up and he's just like, "I took care of him." And then Fred <laughs> Alien shows up and then, bam! Right through his. I chest. honestly thought he was gonna die. And I thought so too. And I was, I was like, like "Good." Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Have "I him can't die." I can't believe they killed off like main character's little brother. I, I w- like wouldn't. And then it turns out he's like not dead. Yeah. Everybody which... else dies from that move except for him. Uh, so. Predator died from that move. Yeah. The he... last movie, Predator dies from that move. Yeah. It's like, okay. It's, but yeah, he lives. And then I wrote... So, I mean, do you have anything before um, that one special line that's always said oh, in every movie? Yeah, so right before that, basically, um, the sheriff and the lady and the other group that they went with, they all make it to the town center, and everybody's making a last stand, and there's fucking xenomorphs everywhere, and they're shooting them, and they're like, we just gotta hold out for like 10 minutes. They're gonna be here, or whatever. And that's that's pretty much like that scene. It's yeah, just, and then it cuts back to the hospital again. Yeah, it's just showing you that everybody's at the center of town, and then the only ones left at the hospital are military, her daughter, and then the two brothers. And uh, and then we get the very famous line yes. at an hour, 25 da- minutes. Dallas in. says Dallas this Dallas says one. this. What does he say? He says... Get to the chopper. Yeah, that's really all. That's almost exactly how he delivers that line. Yeah. And then you're like, huh. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, uh, I mean, they're trying to connect it, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yep, it's a Predator movie, sure. Yeah. Uh, and then Predator gets to use his death whip, which I thought was awesome. Oh, he, yeah. He was pretty much like Indiana Jones, like, whoosh, just whipping alien xenomorphs. Yeah, because da- cool. Dallas is uh, – he's holding off a couple of the xenomorphs for everybody. That's why he says it. He's like, I'll hold them off or whatever. Yeah, you I'm going to sacrifice go. myself. What yeah. idiot. What yeah. a freaking idiot. I don't yeah, know who would ever say that. Because uh, the Predator lost his gun when he falls down the elevator shaft, and uh, Dallas ends up picking it up. And that's how they scare away the Pred alien <laughs> because he starts shooting at it, and, uh, and the Pred alien runs away. So when they're up on the roof trying to get to the chopper, um, Dallas has the gun. He's like, I'll hold him off. I'll hold him off. You guys got to go. Ricky's hurt. You got your daughter. So just get to the chopper. And then they start running off, and he's shooting at the aliens or whatever. And then the gun jams, and then the Predator shows up at the last yeah, minute. Yeah, because apparently it needs to be charged up or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it charges like every couple of shots. And then uh, and so the Predator ends up showing up. He gra- he has like his little razor whip or whatever, and um, and it's such a cool scene because essentially he th- he like whips the whip, and it it wraps around the alien who's attacking Dallas's head, and like slices its head like right in half or something, which is weird because it didn't have any acid blood in its head. So I guess this confirms that the aliens don't have acid blood in their head. Um, and there's like a lot of scenes where you see the aliens get shot in the head or their head get cut in half and no acid blood comes out. So there, it, there must be something to do with the xenomorph anatomy. I don't know if we ever find that out specifically. Anyway, and then he wraps his whip around another alien and cuts off like it's mid – it cuts in half and then its arms cut in half and it's all wiggling around on the ground going, hey, 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 you know, it's freaking it's, out. It's spazoid like alien thing. Yeah, yeah. And so – and then that's when the pred alien shows up and then we finally get to our final battle – 
<laughs> yeah, I wrote Predalien versus Predator wrestling match. <laughs> yeah, face to face too. Yeah, he does the face to face combat on this one. Yeah, because his gun, he doesn't have his gun, um, and then his armor gets some acid on it, I think, or just takes it off, and he takes off his mask because his mask gets busted. Um, and Psst. yeah, and he does the cool the cool face reveal. Yeah, he has he has to use all of his fingers. I wonder if and that's then pulls like, it off. I wonder if they have to take it off that way. I think now you do. Yeah, like it must, <laughs> I think yeah, you it do must now. be a thing. Yeah, like it maybe it's got like uh, fingerprint scanners, like I, iPhones sure, do. You know, maybe you can't take. I'm the mask sure off it's without. not, but okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's like please enter your fingerprints so that way you can remove. The if you, I mean, if you've been watching these movies like uh, like we have, it is exactly that. He just takes all yeah. of his fingers, webs them out, grabs his thing, and then he pulls them up, and then it's just boom. There it yeah, is. Yeah, and it always goes. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. it makes this weird clicky sound and yeah, like leather sort of sound. Yeah, it's, it's like it's it a really peels unique off his sound. Face. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't just come off. See, that's what I wonder now. Is it like suctioned to his I, head? I think so. I think it's like vacuum sealed. And that's what because, oh, yeah, because those yeah. tubes are to help them breathe because their their planet they breathe more nitrogen than humans do. So uh, a predator can only last on Earth for like a week without a mask because it, it, it'll suffocate essentially. That's still a pretty long time though. Yeah, yeah. They they're like. They're trained to last on well, hostile planets, I guess. So, unfortunately, we don't get to see a lot of this battle. Yeah. Because uh, we apparently need to go back to the humans in the middle of town. And uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. At this point, the, the characters... Everyone's got on the helicopter. Yeah, and yeah. the helicopter's flying off. So And then the National Guard has decided to, uh, well, give them a good old how do you do with a big old giant nuclear drop. Yeah, <laughs> so. and it's great because as the helicopter helicopter's flying away, the jet flies right past it, and it's like they're they're just like oh shit, like there you go, someone to escaped, save them. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and then uh, and then the bomb just drops right in the middle of the town and vaporizes everything completely. Like because the predator and the pred alien are fighting or whatever, and the predator rips out the pred alien's tongue mouth, um, and he's freaking out and like spitting blood everywhere. And then the yeah, pred- and that's how the fight and, ends. There's no winner. Yeah, the pred alien stabs the predator in the in the chest, but he's still alive, and they're looking at each other. Yeah, face there's the to face. scene, the the iconic poster scene. Yeah, where they're staring each other down. Yeah, and then um, and then the nuke goes off and just vaporizes them along with everybody else. Yeah, so it's kind and, of like anticlimactic ending to the fight. Uh, so the main crew in the helicopter crashes in the woods, yeah. and then the army ghosts like surround them, uh, surround the downed crew. Yeah, and I and I put I put happy ending question mark because well, the way the movie like everybody's dead, and and they mention they're like you nuked the whole town, and and then like it's like well we were just following orders, and then it plays some sappy music. And the Dallas is all like, we made it, bro. We made yeah. it, you know. And then it looks at the the military, and then the the daughter's like, are the monsters all gone? And she's like, they're gone, honey. And, and then, then she, she looks, looks up to up. the sky, yeah, like uh, cheesy as all hell with this sappy ass music playing. And I was like, I- is this supposed to be like a good ending? Yeah. Like, so then thousands of people just died. So yeah, <laughs> then the uh, the government take the weapon that yeah the, the predator pre- weapon, the predator gun somehow and they put survives it, yeah they put it in the suitcase and then they take it off to this oh wait the guy had it that's right yes uh that dallas had because yeah. dallas had the predator weapon and that's what he was using the whole like last yeah that's right 10 minutes of the movie um and then t- uh one of the military people takes it puts it in a suitcase they take off and then they bring it to this woman yeah but i I know they say her name, but she has no relevance at all at this current moment in time. Right. Yeah. Which I'm assuming they're going to make reference to her well, well, later in the series. They maybe? will in Alien, yeah. Because, oh, in Alien. Because okay. her last name is Utani. So they just say, oh, we have this weapon, blah, blah, blah. And it'll be an advancement for human society. And she's like, oh, people aren't ready for this technology. And the guy's like, well, you might be right, Mrs. Utani. But you know, blah 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 blah. So blah. there was a stinger towards what that is. So we, yeah. So, so there's just the Utani is an important name. Yeah. So we'll remember that Utani. Uh, and then I wrote down this is the first time that our predator ship doesn't show up at the end. Oh right. Because it showed up in the first film at the very end. Yeah. Uh, to wait, what is it, what does it do at the first one? Oh no no no! Not the predator ship doesn't show up at the very end. They fly away in a helicopter. Yeah, the predator ships in the very in beginning the, of the first. Yeah, thing. but there is a predator ship that shows up. But yeah, I think you're thinking the, about flying off. In I a guess helicopter. In, con, in consecutively, the second one, the predator ship flies away. AVP 
predator ship flies away. And then in this one now, we don't get a predator ship at this one. Because it was just one predator that showed up by himself. So there was no reason for there yeah, to be another predator ship well, show up. Yeah, the predator ship like imploded. But and two, well not, and, not his. Th- well, the other one did. Like yeah. he imploded the predator ship because it like landed in the beginning or whatever. Um yeah. but yeah, his predator ship flies off like after he drops to the planet. Yeah. Um and and you don't there's no helicopter flying away at the end of the movie. Uh instead their helicopter crash lands at the end of this movie. That's so, true. So it's like kind so of So it's a, kind of a reverse of what happens, I guess. I don't yeah. Know. Um but we have officially gone through the walkthrough. Sorry, I took yeah, a big gulp out of that one. But that's, man, yeah, that's my voice it. is getting a little. Um, we I actually thought we weren't going to talk too much about this one movie, uh, but we did. I think this is actually one of the longest episodes that we're going to probably put out. But whoa, that was weird. Yeah, <laughs> this this one is the shortest of the movies, um, <laughs> but the most notes that we wrote for it. Though. Yeah, because most most of the movies have been about an hour and forty some odd minutes, and this one's like basically an hour and a half. All right, like, and that's probably not including, or that's probably including credits. I think it's shorter without credits. I think it's like an hour I watched, and twenty eight. Did you watch Unrated? I watched the Unrated one. I don't know if I watched the unrated. It one. just gave me the option, so I watched unrated. I, I'm ass- there's. I don't think there's any difference. I'm assuming I did because there was swearing and stuff, and there was lots of gore. So yeah, I mean, I'm it would still it was- be an R-rated movie. It just means it's not rated anyway. Uh, so we are heading into our special segment. The after our walkthrough is the IMDb corner. This is where we go through IMDb and we just look at some of the cool stuff that kind of sticks out to us based on this movie, which is Alien vs Predator Requiem. Uh, the movie came out in 2007, so let's get down to some trivia, shall we? Uh, out of curiosity there, Josh, uh, what, what's kind of your favorite parts of the uh, IMDb corner that we've been doing here? Oh, I like the trivia stuff. The taglines are pretty funny. Um, taglines tag lines to me are my favorite part. Yeah. I love the taglines because they're uh, really hokey. I like the uh, the goofs part, too, sometimes, like the weird, the weird stuff. Um, so that they talk about here is five trivia facts from IMDb. Uh, here we go. Number one, Bill Paxton was approached to play the diner ch- uh, chef so he could appear in the second Predator, Alien, and AVP film in each franchise. However, scheduling conflicts prevented Aww. him from making an appearance. Rest in peace, Bill. There we go. Um, second uh, trivia fact here is around five minutes. The first movie in both Predator and AVP-based movies that features a scene of the Predator's home planet. Oh, this is the first movie oh, in both okay, Predator yeah. and Alien. That was weird. Worded, sorry. Uh, Predator and AVP-based films. So this is the only scene in all of the Predator and AVP, uh, but eventually we do get another one. So this one's a little dated. Cause it, don't we see that in the ne- in future Predator movie? Uh I don't know. Well, in in so in the not the Predator, but in Predators. Because the next movies we have are it's the Predator and Predators. Yeah, because Predators they are on a different planet, but I don't think it's the Predator homeworld. It's like a a random planet that they just drop people off on, mm-hmm. and I don't know what happens in the Predator because I haven't seen that one yet. Okay. So that's going to be new to me. Well, that might be cool. Uh, number three, in the original script, the Predalien. <laughs> they actually say that. Yeah, that's, they actually yeah, say that's what Predalien. They, yeah, that's, that's awesome. What they call it. It's it's. I I didn't know that. I just oh, well, there you go. Uh, the Predalien was to have died just before the crash of the Predator ship when a Predator kills it with his cannon, which occurred on page three or four of the script. A normal alien would then kill the remaining Predators and escape uh, the wrecked ship. With several face huggers, it was rewritten to incorporate the Predalien into the movie and make it the main antagonist. As the studio was very impressed by the concept, huh. I mean, I think that was a good move. I, I like the Predalien kind of going around here. Number four, Danny Glover, who starred in Predator Two, nineteen ninety, was considered to reprise his role as Mike Harrigan, now retired. Oh, they should have done that. They didn't bring back any cameos from yeah. any of the past movies so far. Except a, a stinger towards the end of the movie, referring to something that's going to happen in Alien. Yeah. And number five, this is a little long one, so bear with me here. It was at one time planned to inter- include shots of the Aliens' homeworld as a post-credit scene. Conceptual art was created, and it was even storyboarded. But ultimately, the idea was dropped in favor of using it in a potential third film. 
This never materialized after the uh, critical and commercial failure of the film, with the studio deciding to abandon the AVP franchise in favor of the Alien 1979 prequels Prometheus and Alien Covenant 2017 and 2012. Uh, not only did these movies largely ignore AVP, Alien vs. Predator 2004, and AVP Requiem, uh, 2007. They also implied that the oh, aliens yeah. may have been genetically engineered and therefore don't have an original home planet. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, then it's a good thing they didn't make a third one because then they just made that was a little spoiler for Prometheus and whatnot. But yeah, because um, you'll find out later on in the series, like there'll be some continuity errors here because they're according to like basically everybody in Hollywood. AVP and AVP two are not not con- like cotton continuity as part as far as, as part the, of the timeline. But yeah. based on fans, a lot of them throw these two films right. in the timeline, and so based on them both being in two thousand and four, they do fall before uh, the Predator. So yeah, and it and it falls before like the Alien movies, Prometheus, all that stuff, and so like some of the stuff we'll find out in Prometheus and Alien Covenant. Um, will contradict some of the things that we know now, but um, you know, you just kind of got to take it with a grain of salt. Like I, I like to think of it as kind of one of those things where it's like we don't know the whole truth, and maybe some of the things that happen in later films might have happened anyway, regardless of whether or not they originated what aliens are, or whether or not like aliens existed before, or whatever. Um, you know. Like, it could just be different. It could be a, a multi-timeline kind of thing. Who knows? I mean, we can discuss that later once we get to it. But but I like to think, because they reference so many different things in, in the AVP movies that it's like it's hard to ignore them as not canon. Like, they mention certain names and they reference certain things that happen um, in both movies. They have some of the same lines and stuff. So it's just, I don't know. I like to think of it as loose continuity, you know? Like, maybe some of the details are wrong but it's still part of the same universe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, well, we've head into a little bit of a choice here. You got your loot box there, Josh, so what are we going to choose down? Are we going quotes, goofs, or crazy credits? Uh, Let's do crazy credits. I don't think we've done one of those yet. Okay, crazy credits. There's only one of them. Oh. (laughs) Uh, So this one's going to be a little short. Uh, The opening title card features many sound effects uh, from previous movies, such as motion... Uh, tracker beeps from aliens and the predator pov humming yeah so I, I noticed that at the beginning of the movie i was like oh a lot of the old school sound effects this is great and throughout the movie too so that's another thing they're paying homage to the old movies by using the same sound effects and stuff and it's like how is this not in continuity you know it's terrible but it's still part of the same universe you yeah. know well we've headed down uh to my favorite part of the show is Taglines. Yes, the taglines that were used in promotion for the film or used in some way, shape, or form to represent Alien vs. Predator Requiem. So here we go. Oh this Christmas, God. there will be no peace on Earth. That's oh terrible. my word. I forgot this came out in December. <laughs> Yikes. The last place on Earth we want to be is in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that, one's, that one's pretty good, too. That was pretty good. Uh... The last place we want to be is in the middle. That's another one here. Um, oh, it, my God. Yeah, it began on their world. It ends on ours. That's like a Transformers quote. <laughs> and lastly, in space, no one can hear you scream on Earth. It won't matter. Oh, my God. So, so, <laughs> that and then that's that, so good. And then that one's a play on the original the Aliens. Aliens yeah, that's line. a really yeah. Alien. That one's pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I yeah. would Honestly, if I saw that, that sold the movie ticket right there. Yeah, I would have. I would have went and saw that. That was a pretty good one. Because then you might actually think it. This like... was actually released on Christmas. Oh, it came December twenty fifth, two thousand and seven. Oh wow! Holy cow! That's your release date for this one. Uh, the box office for this bad boy was um, not great, but uh, it did. It, you know, it, it got its money back. Uh, yeah. Budget was forty million dollars estimated. Uh, opening weekend was only thirteen six uh, dollars and the gross was $128,884,400. Uh, worldwide. So 
it got us money back, but I I think definitely Fox was looking at it going, all right, we're done. That was too close. So <laughs> he yeah. did not get that money back right away. Um, so we head down to tech specs. Uh, runtime, like Josh said, was an hour and 34 minutes. And then the unrated version was an hour and 42 minutes. So that's the version I saw. Um, and oh, then, okay. So I must have watched the, the rated version. Yeah, I don't know I what was else like was different. Something. Um, it's probably just an added scene or two. Maybe that's the graveyard scene. Maybe that's maybe, maybe that's why I didn't recognize that one. Because I, I don't remember the guy getting his head blown off. You think I would have noticed that? Yeah, it definitely was pretty cool. So I'm curious if they just took out some death scenes to make it a little bit less gory. Uh, camera used was uh, Panavision cameras and lenses uh, is listed here. Uh, let's see here. Negative format was 35 millimeter Kodak film. Uh, cinematic process. Digital uh, intermediate was 4K master format. And Super 35, 3 perf, I don't know what that is. Uh, source format, and then it was printed format on 35 millimeter uh, anamorphic film. So there you go. And now we go to the ranking. This is what we rank on uh, personally, and then based on that is how far compared to Predator. Predator 2, AVP, and AVPR now is getting a rating here. So Josh, since I have read and talked too much, why don't you give us your rating and why you um, gave it first? All right. So this movie has barely any plot. <laughs> the human characters are uninteresting and forgettable. Um, the uh, the movie is too quick when it comes to the pacing um, and very jumbled. It's, it's a mess when it comes to the editing. Uh, and other than the Predator and the Pred-Alien, who are basically the only two characters in this movie with any personality... It, it's a very bad film. Like, and the practical the practical effects are good, but some of the digital effects are kind of crappy, um, and you can tell they're they're rather dated at this point. Um, which is weird because in the the first Predator versus Alien movie, they looked better than this one. Mm. Like, I you did sh- get chunky Predator in the first film. Yeah, yeah. I but mean, you like chunky Predator. Yeah, because he was teenage Predator. He was, he was finding himself. You know, <laughs> he I, was I, finding himself. Yeah, I, masturbating I, in the closet. Yeah, you know, man, you're I trying could, to figure yeah, out his own thing. I yeah. just imagine him. Yeah, dude. He, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> masturbating. Know, Stay out of my room. He's got all. He's all got a vacuum. You know? Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this one, the, this one, the computer generated effects <laughs> um, or the CGI or whatever, it was terrible. I, I didn't like it at all um, because the Pred Alien was a lot in CGI quite a bit. Like when the Predator would look at him, and then the practical effects. Like sometimes you'd see the him or see the Pred Alien as like a r- real person in a costume, um, and same with the aliens. But typically, when they're running around, they're not. Uh, so. So all in all, I give this movie a three out of ten. Ooh, a three out of ten. Yeah, I was thinking about giving it a four, but as we talked about it, I just realized how stupid this movie is. <laughs> and other other than the predator, pred alien, and alien scenes or predator scenes, I mean, I I really was kind of just bored with it the entire time. Like none of the characters interest me. Um, I just it's a forgettable movie. It's I mean, it's not even a, a movie that you would throw on like how the first one we were talking about. Like, oh, if you're at a party and you just need some background noise or you just want to laugh at something, throw it on because it's just kind of goofy. This one I wouldn't even say do that. Like this one's definitely a pass. Like it it has a whole Well, yeah, okay. So I'll, for me, I gave it I was a little generous. This is actually the first movie I rated a little bit higher than uh I gave it a 4. Just because of the alien and predator parts, I thought were really cool. Just with the sense of, they gave me what I wanted. I wanted to see more alien predator. Oh, yeah, yeah. They gave me more alien predator. It was. It didn't need to have a, a full on plot to those storylines, which I didn't really care about. The humans suck so bad. All of them suck. They yeah. all suck, and I don't like them. Um, and I definitely think AVP is the way better film of the AVP franchise. Mm -hmm. Um, but it it almost makes me really appreciate AVP more. Like, I'm glad we're watching these in chronological order because I would have gave AVP probably like two more votes. Like I would have gave it a way higher vote knowing that this was a lump of garbage that we were finding next. Um, 
but I thought the AVP parts were cool because they introduced it. They we saw the home planet mm-hmm. of Predator. We got to see some new weapons. I loved the like weapon whip, yeah. and then also the laser like ch- cheese grater that he eventually makes and just pushes them. The head exploding like yeah. those are really they're they're cool. They're just cool moments. But the humans suck, so I gave it a four. I yeah. gave it a four. The, um, the humans are the worst part of this movie. Uh, they're oh man, they're so bad. Um, so with that said, the final rating for the PT, uh, ranking is 3.5, which lands on terrible. Yeah. It is a terrible film. Yep. I can Um, agree with that. So there you go. Alien versus Predator Requiem gets a 3.5 and lands at our new worst movie and i don't think we are going to go any past that probably not because yeah. we're we're on a pretty good uphill i don't know i've never seen predators and i've never seen uh the predator so yeah who knows? I, I i've heard the predator's not that great yeah so <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of apprehensive about going to this one because i'm going to this one blind so i'm thinking i'm going to watch it twice i think i'm gonna just watch it and then i'm gonna watch it again to take notes okay so that way i can kind of get a better grasp of it because i haven't because all these movies I've seen at least once or twice. Because I've seen I've seen AVP and AVPR one time each, and so when I went back to them, like AVPR wasn't like I liked that one a lot better when I first saw it because I was like, oh, there's so much action or whatever. And then when I heard more and more people were like, this movie's terrible. And then I watched it again. And I was like, this well, movie is terrible. Yeah, because I think now what we're doing is we're reviewing the movie. We're actually like dissecting the movie. Yeah, if you're yeah. like just watching it obviously you're not going to say like oh it's a 3.5 like we you really got to wa- yeah. take a note to realize how stupid this movie was right um but yeah it's it's considered a terrible i know a lot of people work on it i know a lot of people do this and that and the other deal but the thing was is who has ever was falling asleep at the wheel and greenlit this this movie and put out this lump of terrible garbage towards us. Yeah. It it just it, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I I don't know what you could fix. Like honestly, I feel like they they focused on the alien and predator first mm-hmm. and then they were like, "Oh shit, we got to add people to this movie." Yeah, I don't, or else nobody's going to be able to yeah, like watch wait, how it or relate they, to it. Yeah, it's like I don't give a shit. Just throw them on their own planet. I don't care. I'll yeah. watch them fight each other. I don't even need dialogue. Yeah, I watched a quiet place and there's like eight pages of dialogue in that movie. Yeah, and at worst you could always do a couple subtitles, you know, like the Predator. That would be weird to try and figure out like Predator noises are now associated to like it yeah, could be like words. elvish. Yeah. Yeah, cuz every time language. every time they click and growl and stuff, I wonder if they're ever saying anything. Probably you know? not like, at this point. So, yeah, like, I would love to see them communicate with each other because you never actually see any of the Predators talk to one another. They just growl and hiss at each other, like, or they when they're in trouble, and that's how they know each other's, like, doing things, you know? Like, I've never actually seen them just go rah, 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 rah to one <laughs> another, you know? So I wonder what they would sound like talking. Uh, So off of that, there you go, 3.5 to APPR. So the official rankings so far, Josh, why don't you tell us what the rankings are All right, so, so far. Still at our number one is Predator 1987 mm-hmm. um, at an 8.5. Uh, following in at a decent second is Predator 2 at 6.5. Uh, AVP is in third with 5, and AVPR coming in dead last at 3.5. Yeah, I was, I'm glad you didn't read the rest of those dates because those are when they're taking place at. But Predator does take place in 1987. Which oh is, yeah, I'm only that is when the movie did come out and it was yeah. modern time. Yeah, but then cause... Predator Two was like in the 90 is 92, but it was supposed to be 1997. And then AVP is 2004. They do say that. And yeah. then AVPR was shot in 2007, but was talking as if they were in 2004. Yeah, it like literally takes place a yeah, minute it's after just... the first movie. Well, um, to add yeah, even cause... more confusion to that. <laughs> and that's why I said Predator 87, because now the next movie is called The Predator. Yes. And it's – so Shane Black, who wrote the first Predator, it came back for this movie. So The Predator is written by the original writer, who and Shane Black was the guy who was in the glasses, who was the first one to die in, in 87 Predator – um, he's the one who they couldn't find his body right away and they walked under it and it was hanging from the tree. Um, so he's the one who... Wait a minute. Are you sure Predators doesn't take place before the Predator? Because... According to this? Really? Yeah, it says in the little... Because... Des- it says in the little description. Okay, because I just want to clarify. 
because Predators was shot and filmed in 2010. Yeah, pre- and the Predator just the came Predator out. Predator just came out. Yeah, if if you go to the like the timeline on there, it it says under the little description that Shane Black envisioned this movie happening between Predator Two and Predators. I guess. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. Here, I, I just. Uh, this is the uh, Alien Predator timeline. Wait, Keegan Michael Key is in the Predator. Where's the uh, Where's the timeline thing? I just wanna. Just want to clarify before we send people off and go and watch all those oh, other movies. Yeah, it's it's uh, here. Hold on one sec. Let me find it. Because right now, because the reason why, because we wrote down the Predator takes place in 05 to 2018, somewhere between 2005 and 2018. But the Predator, but Predators, okay, sorry, so here we go. came out last year in 2018, whereas the Predator. Oh no! Yeah, so here good we go. grief. So, okay, the Predator takes place between oh five and twenty eighteen, but that came out last year. Yeah, while as Predators takes place in twenty eighteen, or a little bit above that. Yeah, twenty eighteen plus. So yeah, so here it says the Predator director Shane Black has indicated that this will be a sequel set between Predator two and Predators. Um, the son of DEA agents, Special Agent Peter Keys from Predator two, will appear. So, oh, okay. so yeah, go. so I guess there would be a character continuity wise that appears is the son of the character who got cut in half in that butcher place with um, uh, in, Gary Busey's character. Yeah, Gary Busey. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that would be so great if it was uh, Jake Busey that played. That his would son. be really good. I, I, I don't know, I don't if it know is, but I really hope it is. I see some of the cast here. I I could look at it. I don't know. Oh, dude, dude, is it? Yes! Oh my god, that's so awesome. That is really good. Okay. Good on them. Good, good on deal. them. That automatically gets it an extra point. For me. So <laughs> all right, whatever, well, ladies and gentlemen, whatever stars I give it, I'm giving it a plus one. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and go and watch The Predator, which is the movie that came out in 2018. Uh, go and watch The Predator. Yeah, it is the next one after this one. So go watch that film, and then after you watch that. Check oh. in with us next week because we will be reviewing The Predator. Um, thank you, Josh, for joining me on this one again. It's uh, It's been a quite a journey so far. Yeah. Man, I, I will tell you, I have actually not seen any really any of these movies except AVP and AVPR, and I'm really glad I've watched oh, both yeah. The Predator movies. <laughs> Dude, the Predators are great. Like, yeah. like Predator 2 is like not as good as the first one, but, but was, those yeah. – but those two movies are so just so much fun. Yeah. Like, so and and once we start getting to like the actual Alien franchise, like after Prometheus and Covenant, yeah. I'm gonna have a hard time picking between those ooh, and, and ooh, Predator. All right. because well, stay tuned for that. Yeah, those that's are gonna where be towards the, real the end of the season here. Begin, yeah. Um. We also so just as a reminder, Predator 8.5, Predator 2 6.5, AVP 5, AVPR 3.5. Those are your ratings so far. So Predator is still the top of the movie combat championship so far yep. who will win you'll have to stay tuned to find out we'll <laughs> see you guys in the next episode laters